Aquí hay una bodega de izquierda. Cuando tú caminas aquí, ahí viene tu papi. Hey, good morning, you guys. When you come on, will you please mute your phones? Okay. Ahora. Bueno, va a empezar. Y la mata que te dio mi vida en la bodega. Mira, mira. Mira, mira. Mira, mira. Mira, mira. Mira, Good morning, everybody. Well, do me a favor. When you guys come on the call, can you please um, mute yeah, yourself? Um, just mute your microphone. That way we don't get any feedback or background noise. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. No, no. Una plancha. Aquí. Una plancha. Una plancha. Si yo tengo. No hay. Pero tú Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Morning, some, Chris. Good morning. For some reason, the volume on my computer was not working where I had to get on uh, the phones where I could actually talk. Who am I giving the host to this morning? Chris, if you need somebody to be the host, I got you, buddy. Well, I wasn't sure who was doing the training this morning. I believe it's Kirsten. And if she's not on and this is some last minute thing, then no, I'll I, saw, I saw her. I'm here. I'm right here. I was yelling at my husband, so I, mute, I muted my microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. <laughs> He's laughing. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. I'm so glad to see everyone. Hey, Gavin. Hi. Sorry, I'm not <laughs> muted. But my husband <laughs> just came. You're about to be host, Kirsten. Here we go. Right on. I'm excited to be here. 
All right. Well, it looks like we're recording. Hey, Melissa, my upline just hopped on. I think we're good. Hey, Shar, good morning. Good so, morning, honey. Hi, guys. So as you're um, popping on, do me a favor. Just make sure that you're muting your phone. Hi, Marley. Good morning. And then that way we don't get any background noise. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Um, my name is Kirsten Oliveras, and I'm an entrepreneur. And I'm super excited to be here. I'm, this business has changed my life and the life of my family. So I get a little emotional um, just thinking about what this product has done for me, my friends, and my family. Um, it's not only changed the way that we feel, we are healthier. Uh, my husband has lost 26 pounds. I've lost 22 pounds. And we've helped um, our friends and family also to become healthy. So I love this product. I love this business. This business has changed my life. I have true financial freedom. And I was able to not go back to work no more wearing suits, so that's a good thing, right? I now work from home in my flip-flops, so uh, I just wanna say welcome to everyone, and I'm so glad that you are here and that you have joined us, and congratulations on your decision to become an entrepreneur. Well, I've made some notes, um, so I'll stay on task, um, and I'm just gonna get right into it. So the first thing that I suggest is um, that you log into your back office and look around um, and write down your customer websites and keep those with you. Um, sometimes in the beginning when you're getting started, um, you will forget your website. Sometimes I even forget my website, right? And I've been doing this for eight months now. So know your websites, um, write them down, um, you know, be familiar with your back office and be um, familiar with your upline. Make sure that you have your sponsor introduce you to five levels up. You want to know your sponsor and the four people above her, as those are the people that you will be working with that are going to help you grow and develop your, your business. Um, and then make sure that you get a welcome call. If you haven't had a welcome call with your sponsor, that's very important. So reach up to your sponsor and uh, get a welcome call. During the welcome call, we will, um, you know, establish where you want to go and how you want to get there. And, you know, kind of create a plan of action, um, you know, to, to help you. Um, develop your game plan. So welcome calls are super important, so please make sure that you get one. Um, we like to have the welcome call within the first 24 to 48 hours. If that's not possible with your schedule, just make sure that you get one as soon as possible. Um, and let's see, oh, this is great information. So you wanna make sure that you're on our Facebook pages. Um, make sure that your sponsor has added you to Team Rise Elipreneur. And um, Elipreneur 411 is a fantastic informational page that has been created by our teammate, uh, John Can Canada. I hope I said that right. Um, and Attract Your Tribe, which is an absolute fantastic Facebook group. In Attract Your Tribe, there's going to be coaching in there um, from Coach Fryer. And go in and watch those videos. This is going to teach you how to responsibly post on social media. So make sure that you go in there right away and take a look around. And then if you want to get some business cards or uh, material, go to the elopreneurstore.com. And then another one of my favorite groups is Mindset Matters. All these groups are on Facebook. If you are having um, issues, just reach up to your upline and they can go ahead and get you connected. So getting started, um, 
what I suggest to my team and what we do is we make a list of 15 to 20 people that we want to share the product with. And don't overthink it. If a name pops into your head, just write that name down, okay? Um, a lot of times we'll think of, of a person and then we'll talk ourselves out of reaching out to that person. So just get you a notebook and on one side of the page, just start writing down names and try to think of at least 15 people that you want to reach out to right away. And use um, your 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 closest circle, like your friends, your family, your neighbors, um, people that you um, you know connect with on a daily basis, like maybe at the post office or the grocery store, or you know people that you see at your kids' sporting events or daycare. So really think about. Um, who you run into and who you see on a daily basis. And those are the people um, that you really want to reach out to. And then I suggest to my team on the opposite side of the page that they add 10 people, um, 10 names that they want to do business with. Think of 10 people that you would like to share this business opportunity with and that you would like to work with closely, right? Because your first task as an entrepreneur is to strive for five. And what that means is that you want to find five people that you would like to do business with. You want to find five people, sign them up underneath you, and then help them find their five, and so on and so on. Um, and then you really want to be consistent. I recommend that you set business hours, whether it's you know 30 minutes a day, or you know, five hours a day. Um, you know, you need to be consistent. Consistency is key. You can't start a business and then just work a couple of hours on a Saturday, and you know, expect to grow a healthy business. So you know, when I got started, I just you know set time and I worked my business into the nooks and crannies of of my schedule. Um, and, you know, I started out working two hours in the morning and then did what I needed to do, came back home, worked another two hours, cooked dinner, got, you know, the kids ready, and then worked another hour in the evening. But I was consistent. So set a time and make a schedule and, you know, be very consistent and your business will take off. Like, you won't believe how fast your business will grow. You are going to get out of it exactly what you put into it. And, you know, if, if you give it some attention and some time, you're going to really be surprised at your results. Um, training. So training is super important. Um, we have team calls and um, webinars on and you know, Saturday morning training. The schedule is posted in Team Rise. So make sure that you get a copy of that schedule. It's important that you show up to every single call that you possibly can. Now, I know that life happens and you know it. sometimes we can't make every call, but the majority of the calls are recorded and posted in Team Rise. So if you miss a call, try to, um, you know, catch that recording at your earliest convenience. But, you know, I always suggest that you make it a point to be on the calls when they're happening. What you're going to learn on these calls um, is basically training, news, update, and information. Um, we are a brand new business and things are happening really quickly. So we want to make sure that we're on top of the information as it's, you know, coming down from corporate to us. And the way to do that is by showing up to your team calls. <laughs> Thanks, Vincent. I don't have my contacts in, you guys, so, because I'll get sidetracked. <laughs> but um, make sure that you're on the team calls. And you know what? Mark and Judy Willitson do um, these fantastic opportunity calls. And I suggest that if you haven't been on an opportunity call that you get with your upline 
and, and get on the next opportunity call. These opportunity calls are fantastic, especially if you have someone that, um, that Jerry, do you have a question? Oh, somebody raised their hand. Okay. Sorry guys. Okay. So get on the opportunity call. Um, and if you have people that are interested that are interested in the business, make sure that you get them on the opportunity call. I've had people just show up on the opportunity call and they're signing up as they're on the opportunity call. So these opportunity calls are great tools for us and they're really great to help us build our business. Also, we have sensational Saturdays. Um, hi. Hi, that's what I was going to ask you about the sensational Saturdays. Do we need to, to register for that? Um, yeah, go ahead and get with your upline. Find, um, they'll give you the information. The sensational Saturdays are listed in the back office. So find the one that's closest to you and then um, talk to your upline about what you need to, to do to get there. Um, sorry, guys, I have to get some water. So, you know, again, the training is very important. Excuse me. Make sure that you get, oh, sorry, to your sensational Saturday. Um, I believe that there isn't a fee for the Elopreneur, but, or there is a fee for the Elopreneur, right? And not the guest. Um, and they're really great. I haven't been to one yet. I attended a different training and I'm waiting for mine to come in my area. We were having one in September, um, but we've had a lot of fires here. So, so unfortunately, our sensational Saturday is being rescheduled. Um, but make sure if your area isn't burning down, that <laughs> you get to your sensational Saturday. They are really awesome. They're hosted by different leaders and you have the opportunity to meet leaders and to hear their story and to be trained by leaders. And every leader has something really fantastic, um, you know, to bring to the table. We all, you know, focus on different things. We all do our businesses just a little bit differently. So it's really great to connect with leaders and to learn from them. Um, personal development. I'm really big on personal development. Um, I suggest that everybody go on their Netflix and um, watch the first 15 minutes of The Secret. Um, you know, it's, it just tells you, what you will learn from that really is mindset. Thoughts are things, right? And, you know, it's very important that we continue to think positively. Um, even when things don't look positive, you know, we want to, you know, keep our mind positive and keep our focus. Um, I'm really big also, my team can contest to this as well, that I'm really big on reading self-development books. I think a lot of the leaders are. For instance, if you go on Shar's page, I think Shar Garcia is reading like five books at once and Robin as well. Um, so self-development is really key to growing. And um, one of my favorite books, well, I have four. I have four favorite books. <laughs> so one of my, my top favorite is uh, Think and Grow Rich. And then um, the second one is The Law of Success. And these are both by Napoleon Hill. My third is one, I, again, this is my favorite as well. Um, it's Millionaire by Halftime. It's Presley Swaggerty. It's an easy read. You can get through that in like two days. And that book, I'm telling you, if you are feeling, you know, kind of nonchalant or, you know, dragging your feet and you need something to light a fire in your soul, I'm telling you, get Millionaire by Halftime. Now, my fourth favorite book is by Susan Jeffers, and it's called Fill the Fear and Do It Anyway. 
a lot of times, you know, we get these great ideas and then we get scared and we talk ourselves out of it, right? So I'm going to tell you, you can talk yourself into anything or you can talk yourself out of anything, right? So this book really helps to address those issues um, to help you overcome your fear. And, you know, once you overcome your fear and you get out of your comfort zone, you're really able to do bigger, better, and greater things. So those are the four books that I recommend. Um, and let's see. Oh, gosh. Okay. So my team is on this call. I know that you guys are. And um, we're huge on creating vision boards. Um, when we first got started in our team page, we held a little uh, contest and everybody in our team created a vision board. And on our vision boards, we put personal things that we wanted to accomplish, business things that we wanted to accomplish. And I can tell you that the leaders in my team, everything that they put on those vision boards, including my very own vision board, those things have come into fruition. So we are really big on, on vision boards in our team. And I suggest there's online classes that you can do that shows how to create a vision board. Um, you know, just Google it. But vision boards are really fantastic. So I recommend that you create a vision board and that you know your why. Um, write down your why. Why did you get into this business? What do you want to accomplish? Connect it. Connect to your why. And, you know, post that why in a place where you can read it every day. Like my vision board and my why is posted in my closet. I see it every morning when I go to get dressed and I see it every night when I get ready to go to bed. So put it in a place where you can see it, read it, and connect with it every single day. Um, and then it's really important that we continue to remain engaged and plugged in. So you want to go into your team pages. And as you're building a team, you want to tag your teammates in the team pages, right? When you see a training post or a call, or something of value, you want to make sure that not only are you engaged and plugged in, but that you keep your team plugged in as well. Um, and then just remember when you are on a Zoom call, you want to mute your phone. And also, <laughs> I want everybody to know that we can see everything that you're doing when we're on a Zoom. And if your camera isn't blocked, we can see everything that you're doing, whether you're going to the bathroom, changing your clothes, breastfeeding your children. I've seen it all. So please, 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 some stuff you just can't unsee. Please, 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 if you are busy and you are doing something, but you know, you're making being on the call a priority, just remember to block that screen. Just block that screen, set your phone down, go about your business. You know, we're glad that you're on the call and that you're making an effort to be on the call, but block that screen and mute your microphone. We've heard some pretty good fights. A couple of weekends ago, it was kind of interesting. We were getting the popcorn and the wine. So just make sure if you don't want everybody to know your business, block your phone, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but mute that microphone. All right, so I'm going to finish up the call here pretty quick. I just have about eight more little things that I want to go over, and then we're going to unmute everybody and um, have um, questions and, and answers. So um, one of the things that I learned when I first joined this company is that I needed to have some product on hand as a leader, right? Um, and the reason that I made that decision, I came in with, um, I think, one of the least expensive uh, promoter packs that we had. Now, we do have some new promoter packs, I understand, that are going to be in our back office soon. 
Um, but you know, they're not there, they're not available. So we need to think outside of the box. So just go in and order extra product. If you're brand new, order an extra bag, order an extra Zampamax, if you can afford it. I'm not saying to break the bank, but as a leader, and if you're, you want to grow your business because we are a new company and you know what, it's, it's part of the job. Things are going to, from time to time, you know, we're going to run into snafus with shipping. It's just part of the business. It's the nature of the business. So what I do is I have products on hand. And if there is a problem with one of my customers, I say, you know what? I'll handle the problem. But in the meantime, please let me know what you've ordered. And I'm going to ship that out to you priority right away today. And when you get your product, you just mail it back to me. That way my customer is happy. They don't have to wait on, you know, hold with customer service and it just seems to work out and I'm not losing any customers and, you know, everybody is happy and my business is flowing and it's growing. Okay, so that's my recommendation. I also, when I got started, the first three months, I took every penny that I made and I reinvested it into my business um, by purchasing signage, um, extra product, getting my display table ready for my events. So, you know, it is, you're going to get out of this business what you put into it. And just think if you opened up a store, what you would need to do, right? You couldn't open up a store and not have anything to sell. You couldn't open up a store and not have any signage. Um, and events are huge for growing your business. Um, my uh, downline, Lizzie and Bonnie they, and Leo, they do events and their business are really growing. Really, really, really growing. Um, so, you know, keep that in, in mind. Um, and then one of the things that I let my team know is the fortune is in the follow-up and no doesn't mean no forever. No just means that they need more information or they don't have enough information at this time to make a decision. So when you reach out to somebody, make sure that you're writing their names down in, in your notebook and following up with them. Let's see. Um, oh, this is huge, guys. This is really, really, really huge. Um, don't compare your journey to anybody else's. Some of us have been in network marketing a lot longer. And, um, you know, we've come in at a different place. So, you know, if you see someone doing more or their business is growing faster than yours, don't get discouraged. Everybody is on a different journey and everyone gets started at a different point in their journey. But remember, we all started in this business at the same exact place. So don't compare yourself to anybody else. Just, you know, focus on, on you and your why and your business. And if you're feeling discouraged, reach up to your upline. Your upline and your sponsor is there to, to help you and to coach you. We want you to be successful. Um, and I have to bring this up. So, you know, complaining publicly is just not allowed, period. I'm just gonna let you guys know right now, if we catch you complaining in team pages, Ricky will probably remove you, so don't complain. If you have an issue, I want you to reach up to your upline, discuss that issue with your upline privately in a private chat or a private phone call, okay? Our threads and team pages are not the complaint department. The complaints are to be handled privately among you and your sponsor. So let's see. Okay, last thing and then I'm done, shipping. We are a startup company. We are growing super, super, super fast. And I love the way, oh, I love you too. I love the way that Ricky presents this. Um, so Ricky said, imagine when you're having children 
and your he says your wife right so i'm just going to tell it like he tells it so imagine your wife is pregnant and you're expecting one baby so you go to the store you buy one crib one car seat one high chair and then to find out a week before she's ready to deliver she's having triplets right but you're only prepared for that one child that's a lot like what our company is experiencing our growth is so massive because we have this fantastic product that you know we are just doing our best to keep up and the company is growing and expanding as quickly as they possibly can so when you have a customer excuse me guys i had to take a drink mm. so when you have a customer i want you to be honest with them when they say how long is it going to be until i get my product i want you to tell them 10 to 14 days i don't care if your products got here in three days must have been a good shipping week right things happen and we don't want to set our customers up or our promoters up with false expectations when we falsely misrepresent ourselves or our company that's when we run into problems so you know just be honest let them know that we are a new company and everybody wants this product i'm telling you right you drank it you wanted it that's why you're here that's why we're all here so just be really honest and let them know that we're new and it's taking about 10 to 14 days to get their product, okay? So that's all I have to say, guys. <laughs> I hope you found some value in the call and um, just unmute yourself and let me know if you guys have any questions. I think my power yeah, partner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, oh, I just wanted to say no question. I I just wanted to say no question for you, but you did a fantastic, amazing, incredible job. I'm so happy that my team got to hear this, and I'm so happy that this is being recorded because I will save this in the notes section of my phone so that people can start. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, that means the world to me. Thank you. I really appreciate it. You know, this was not easy for me because I don't like to be on camera. I don't like to have my picture taken and I can't stand the sound of my own voice. And I get super nervous. Like my hands are trembling, you guys. Um, I have a power partner and accountability partner, Shane McArdle. And he's really, you know, worked with me on overcoming my fears. And that's another thing that I want to tell everybody. Get yourself an accountability partner. Shane is my accountability partner. We're both on Team Rise, um, but we're not underneath each other. Meaning that we don't, like, he doesn't make money off of me. I don't make money off of him. You know, we're not in business together, but we are on the same team. Find someone that you can work with that will keep you accountable. Um, you know what? And I, even as diligent as I am, and you know, I still have days, and Shane will send me a message. What are you doing? I haven't heard from you. I haven't seen you. <laughs> are you working today? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I'm getting right on it. So get yourself an accountability partner. Someone that is going to help you, encourage you, um, you know, to grow in this business. And it can be anybody, anybody that you connect with. Um, for me, I had to find somebody that wouldn't like me because I'm a red personality and I can be really stubborn. And Shane just doesn't take that from me. So um, get an accountability partner. That It's really helped me to, to grow. Hey, Shane, are you on the call? Do you want to talk about... Um, the the peak and pass or the play that works does anybody want to explain that real quick hey, hey kristen hey hi francisco how are you good to I'm see doing, you i'm great great to see you i have to tell you i'm very proud of you thank you for that training you did a fantastic job Thank we you. You, uh, the way you did it it's powerful because you're helping encourage other ladies that sometimes are afraid to talk in public or to do any training that you guys are rocks you guys are the rock stars that uh, 
the stone of these organizations are you, the ladies. And I'm very grateful for your training. I'm grateful that it's, it's recording because I can use it with all the powerful leaders that we have in this training. So uh, God bless you very much. And you did a fantastic job. Thank you. Oh, and you guys, I have script. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tiny scan it and I'm going to post it in Team Rise. So there is a script here that um, can really help you when um, reaching out to people because sometimes I know that that can be a little scary. So this is a fantastic script. I got this from one of our meetings that we had back in May and I've held on to it and I still use it to this day. So if I'm going to tiny scan it and post it in Team Rise if you guys want to go in there. But um, if anybody has any questions, please unmute yourself. If not, I guess we can end the call. Can I say, can I say something, Kristen? Hi. Absolutely. Good morning, Lizzie. Good morning. So I wanted to touch base about the events. I noticed that some people were saying, you know, once you brought up the events, uh, mm -hmm. there were some questions. And um, so people were asking whether you know how do they find out about events what they need to do and things like that so my suggestion would be maybe that we can do something as far as you know anybody that does events like myself or anybody else within the company that does events maybe we can put out something uh, maybe like you know like a thing for everyone uh so hey, they that's for, a good idea lizzie yeah. why don't make a video because you are the queen okay. of events i am not kidding you make a video and let's share it in team rise seriously and that okay. is lizzie oc you can find her on facebook if you're doing an event she is on my team she is a master at events talk to her because she will definitely help you out All right, guys, does anybody else have anything they'd like to add? Hey, Kirsten, great, yes. great training, amazing training. I Thank wanted to, to ask you for people that are on here, what are you finding is the best way to market this product? How are you, where's your audience coming from and what are you doing? Okay, so I'm really big on face-to-face. Um, with everybody that I run into, I actually carry samples in my purse and I talk to everybody, whether I'm in line at the grocery store or at line at the post office, wherever I go, I just strike up a conversation and I just say, Hey, do you drink coffee? And that's how we get started. And I pass out samples. I get their name, their phone number, and I follow up. But I also have built the majority of my business off of Facebook. Um, I just send out five to 10 messages a day, every day. Um, I also want to let you guys know a little secret. I'm going to show you this. Hold on. So you whoops, can actually go in and print your Facebook friends list. So what you do is you go in Facebook, you go to friends, you highlight all your friends from A to Z, let it populate, right click, print. This is my book of business right here. So, you know, oftentimes because of the algorithms and all that nonsense, you're only seeing the same, you know, percentage of people and that percentage of people is seeing you. So you want to work your entire Facebook and this is the way to do it. So every month, I just go page by page and reach out to people and comment on their Facebook page, like their posts, and um, reach out to them and say, hey, have you heard the, about the coffee that everybody's talking about on social media? And that's how I've been able to build my business. I was responding to something. I was listening to the last, I was like totally multitasking you down. Um, I was also going to ask, do you do a lot of attraction marketing and what, what kind Thank of um, results do you get? You're very or good. Thank live you. Live videos. Somebody's unmuted. So I know that. Uh, you know, I personally don't do any marketing like that, but um, there are two rock stars on my team that do. 
Um, I have one girl that works full time for AT and T as like a manager, and she works for their corporate offices. So she's super super busy. Um, she'll probably hit platinum next month. She orders brochures from um, the Elipreneur store. And she has also purchased a mailing list online for people in her area that are interested in weight loss. So what she does is just she purchases the labels, she slaps that label on that brochure, postage, puts it in the mail, and she's been building her business that way. She also um, runs ads like in her local Clipper magazine as well. Awesome. Um, so Leo Scholes is also on my team. He's a platinum. He's soon to go diamond. He does a lot of uh, marketing. Well, his wife owns the Elipreneur store. So they're huge on marketing and marketing material. Um, so if you have any questions about, you know, what he does, go ahead and, and hit him up. Um, I know a lot of people are funneling and you can get someone to, you can actually hire people to run your funnels. It's a little costly. I don't do it. You know, I just get out there and run my mouth. <laughs> but, you know, because I'm good at that, I guess. But, um, you know, you can do funnels. There's, there's a lot of different things that, that you can do. Um, you know, I'm just not, well, I guess with my age, I'm just not really, you know, technical like you young guys. <laughs> get out of here <laughs> seriously i'm 55 i'm gonna be 55 next month and i'm claiming it i've earned the right to say that i'm 55 <laughs> well this was an awesome 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 training so i look forward to sharing the replay with everybody who missed it Oh, thank you, Gavin. I really appreciate all you guys. And I just want to say thank you for taking your time out of your day and spending it here with me. So God bless everybody. And I just hope that your business is a great success. Bye. Great job, Kirsten. Uh, you have time for one more question? No, I guess not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. I'm here. Okay. Uh, just I uh, had a quick question. Um, but... Then another one pops up, popped up. What do you mean by funnel? What is that? Um, go ahead and Google it. I'm not really, you know, <laughs> I'm the wrong person to ask. The, the younger generation okay. is funneling. <laughs> I'm not funneling. I don't really understand how it works. They talked about it at our first convention that we had in Dallas. Um, but I, I personally am not doing it. Um, I don't really understand it. It's a little complicated, maybe. I'm not sure. But there might be some leaders on this call that are using a funnel system. And okay. um, maybe you can ask your upline or if they know of anyone or get connected with them. For okay. me, it's just too complicated. So I couldn't figure it out. Okay. So my original question, has to do with uh, rank uh, mm -hmm. and, and volume and commission, um, if you could answer real quick. So I was told recently, um, say if I'm close to rank and I just make a personal order um, to meet the volume of my rank, that I could rank up. But how how is commission? I'm going to try to answer that. Um, you know, the commission is explained in Team Rise. Chris Shweta has done a video for us. So you want to go in there and in the search bar, type in Efinity Comp Plan and watch that video. But um, we want to be really careful not to rank by or bonus by. The company really frowns upon that. And um, Another thing, they've prevented us from doing that, which is a really good thing. Um, your personal purchases will not go towards your rank. So let's say like right now, I'm probably $800 away from Diamond. I can't go into my back office and purchase $800 worth of product and go Diamond, get my $5,000 one-time bonus and my $800 you know, monthly bonus. Um, because my personal purchases, as well as everybody else's, do not go to towards your rank up. Does that answer your question? 
Yes, I believe so. Thanks a bunch. You're welcome. Anybody else have any questions? All right, guys. God bless you. Have a wonderful Saturday. Bye-bye. God bless. Bye-bye. Thank you, Kirsten. Thank you.